All right, welcome. I am Donovan Sadiq, formerly known as Donovan Malloy. I was the high school Michael Jackson in the 80s. Nobody had a better curl than I did. Here it is 30 years later. Yes, yes, I'm going bald, but hey, that happens to the... You guys notice that mostly everybody that had a jerry curl male-wise has gone bald? It's just something about that. So, uh, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm, I like to have fun and I'm trying to experiment right now. So I'm in my studio where I do a lot of my political stuff and I haven't been back to Okinawa since about 2007. I retired from the military in, in 2012. So it's been, it's been a while. And I, you know, I, I watch Reggie out there who's probably watching this and everybody, all my Okieites as I call them. And uh, I said, what is the best way to get back to Okinawa and bring back some of those memories. And one of the best ways I found out is green screen. And I'm gonna tell you one thing about us, uh, Oki fam, is we have a lot of resources out there. And one of the uh, people that I was talking to was um, Linda Owens, who is a media savvy person. She's into uh, production and uh, things like that. And uh, Eric Burks, he's into uh, video production. The future of media is the internet. And there's a lot of stuff you can do in the internet. And I found out that you can do. And now that I'm retired, I have nothing else to do. Um, I do all kinds of stuff now to keep myself busy or I'm gonna go crazy. Other than Felipe and Bell and everybody that sees all that stuff going on. So I said, what's the best way I can get, get back to Okinawa and you know just kind of just enjoy myself? And I figured it out. This is the best way to do it. Brings back a lot of memories. Some of us can see it. And I found some old video that I'm trying to uh, change digitally and put into a, um, put it digitally so that I can use it and bring back some old, old memories that we remember. You know, and I look back on it and I say, what the hell was I thinking? But anyway, if you guys remember, I used to run around school, winter time. Uh, not that it was really cold in Okinawa, but I always had those Hawaiian shorts on and my little van shoes and, you know, but I had a, you know, jacket on or something on the top and I had shorts on. It was kind of stupid, but that's what I did back then. So I had a happy-go-lucky type thing and I'm still a happy-go-lucky person. I'm just going blind because I wear glasses now most of the time. But um, I'm just going to experiment with this and just kind of just bring back some stuff and see if it works because, you know, I'm just, you know, talking to Eric and he's right. This is the future. This is where you're going to do a lot of stuff. And you got to think about it. If it wasn't for Facebook, a lot of us would not be in contact today. So I'm very thankful of Facebook that we all got back. And did everybody uh, notice that the clicks got right back together as soon as they kind of did their thing? So yeah, so, so that really happened. But uh, I took off my hat. You know, people say, well, why are you wearing a hat all the time? But uh, I wear my hat because, you know, that's just something you do when you're retired, I guess. I just, I'm just trying to go with the flow. But um I retired here at March Air Force Base in California, Southern California. So while the East Coast Okie fam and people in the Midwest are freezing and raining and stuff like that, I am in an area where 96% of the time it's sunny and blue skies. Bad air, but blue skies. And I'm in the desert. Um, I'm about 60 miles uh, east of L.A., and it used to be a great area. And of course, you guys have been hearing a lot of things that are going on here in my city where we're, we are a uh, bot city. The biggest bribe in FBI history actually happened in my city. And we're becoming a warehouse city, which is very unfortunate. And I've been uh, fighting that. Other than uh, that, I ran for city council. Uh, election year is coming up again. And everybody's wondering, Donovan, are you going to run? And um, I don't know what I'm going to do because to run... The developer that controls the city, he spent almost, uh, he spent a little over half a million dollars. And then in just to stop the referendums uh, six to eight months ago, he spent almost a million dollars. And I was part of that referendum. Now, I'm blessed, but those of us that are military background, we know we don't make that kind of money. So that's a lot of money to deal with. And I'm dealing with people who have $200,000 plus to run in a local election. So it's getting pretty, pretty bad. But a lot of you guys out there, a lot of Harvey, all the guys that we usually uh, talk to a lot, you guys be very vigilant because what's happening to my city could also happen to your city. But you know, again, uh, Citizens United, it has really messed up the politic. But some of the things I've been doing um, don't fly as much as I used to. Um, 
very uh, much into my animals. I love my animals. Fixing up my house. My house, you know, I like where I'm at. My mom's going to get ready to retire, so she's going to spend half the year, I hope, with me. Uh, my brother just became a grandfather, so I am a great uncle now, so that's a good thing. Even though you guys know Smoke, he's still... Smoke is always going to be Smoke. I mean, you know, always complaining. You know, always... I mean, he's a great guy. So if you're in the cars... If you're in the cars, that's what he's into. So uh, he's really good at that. And he's good, you know, he's always, Smoke's always been good with that stuff. But, um, you know, he, Smoke's always going to tell you his opinion. He, you know, he's always going to do that. But, uh, you know, Smoke's still the same. He's just a little wider this way. But uh, he's still the same guy. He comes out whenever he can. And uh, he's a former Marine now. And he is in the Air Force as a jet engine mechanic on C-130s. And he's a hurricane hunter. Uh, what else is going on? So... If you guys get a chance, I want you guys to come and check out this page. I'm going to put up something every now and then, and, I'm, and I want you guys to take it and just give me some good feedback on it and see how it goes. But this is probably going to be the best way that I can keep my sanity, not that I'm going insane, but um, to keep me busy. You know, I, I'm doing 101 things. I mean, I, I want to do my bass guitar. I want to coach basketball. I want to do the politic thing. I want to still act. Uh, I mean, there's so, so many things to do, and uh, whoever thought that we would get to an age to where we say we're retired like our parents? I mean, you remember that was always far off, and a lot of us that are becoming grandparents is going to be a great thing. This uh, year, my youngest son, I only have two sons, he graduates, and then I will be free, 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 free and clear. So he's a good kid. He's over at Langley Air Force Base. His mother was also in the military when we were stationed in Alaska. He was born in Alaska. So uh, just give me your feedback. Tell me what you think. Put some memories up. Hopefully you guys like it. And keep you guys coming back to the page and keep you interactive. And I'll keep you posted on what's going on. But get with Linda and Eric. And they're going to tell you that this is the future. This is the new media. Think about it. House of Cards doesn't even come on network TV. A lot of some of your best shows do not even come on TV anymore. They come on Netflix and internet. And that's where everything's going. So if you can get on it right now, it'll be a great thing. But before we go, Felipe at his best. Donovan Sadiq, formerly Donovan Malloyd, the Jerry Curl King.